Hello, today I'd like to talk about a Buddhist story. It's like a, it's like a fairy tale with a moral at the end. Um, the story, I, 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 am, a, uh, I am a Buddhist. Uh, sometimes I, I read these books about Buddhism. The story is more for myself, but uh, I thought uh, it would be a good idea to share this story with everybody, okay? So, hope you enjoy it. A long time ago, in old China, there was a place called Sai. In this place, there was an old man who loved horses. One night, the horse he was keeping broke open the stable and disappeared. Having lost a most loved horse, the old man became deeply sad. But then, after a few months, the horse came back, bringing with it an even more beautiful horse. The old man was extremely happy. Being an exceedingly good horse, the old man, in the peak of joy, told his son to ride the new horse. The horse ran at full speed through the fields. Being too swift a horse, the son lost his balance, fell off the horse, and in the end became a disabled for life. The old man profoundly regretted the tragedy. Meanwhile, war with the neighboring country started. Youngsters of the whole country were forced to enlist and to fight desperately. Lots of youngsters got injured, others died from disease or in the battlefield. However, the son of the old man for being disabled wasn't called to enlist and didn't meet a tragic fate. The old man was happy with the disability of his son. This is the origin of the proverb, Sai Yoga Oma. Which one is fortune? Which one is misfortune? Fortune is not fortune forever. Misfortune is not misfortune forever. This is the true image of life. Shizunde kusuruna, don't surrender when sinking. Ukande ogoruna, don't be arrogant when rising.